We're here with Gitesh Agarwal, the Trade Commissioner of Queensland in Bangalore, in India. Warm welcome to you. Thank you, Samira. Today, we had a very exciting uh, discussion and uh, looking at the opportunities uh, that Queensland offers. How do you feel uh, the reaction of the entrepreneurs, the investors has been? Well, it has been my first time, uh, Samira. Thank you for inviting us to address Canara group of entrepreneurs. I understand they're a varied mix. They are uh, second or third generation, uh, range from youngsters to uh, people more experienced. So I think from our point of view, we are enthused that we are addressing a totally new set of audience and uh, sharing some insights about Queensland. Hopefully with what we have shared, there'll be engagement in the near future. Great. And when we look at Queensland, a lot of attractive uh, areas but what would you rate as the top three in terms of priority areas for the in Indian investor community to look at collaborations between the two countries? Well, India is today such a huge market and the fastest growing economy. I believe there's a wonderful opportunity to collaborate in a vertical manner where advantages of uh, Queensland can be leveraged to either innovate or expand or collaborated upon to amplify back in India as a big market or to springboard from Queensland into the Western market or to address within Australia the Australian market. There are multiple opportunities for uh, especially an Indian entrepreneur for the sheer fact that India is really on a growth trajectory today. Great. So, so uh, what's next? What do you have in line in terms of your offering to the community? Well, uh, Queensland has done its first country-specific strategy last year and this was released by our Minister Honourable K. Jones in Bangalore in November uh, to the hands of Minister K. J. George. We are looking at India in a very strategic manner. India is already our fourth largest trading partner. We export almost $10 billion of uh, goods and services to India and India is also uh, one of the largest resources for students, uh, tourists. It is also a pool of um, young entrepreneurs wanting to invest and move into Queensland for lifestyle. So India is going to remain very, very strongly connected to Queensland and we would love to engage more, collaborate more and invite more of India into Queensland. Great. And when we talk about collaboration, uh, what has been the sentiments of the business community till date? Uh, you know, you've, you've established this entity some time back? It's been here for 14 years, yeah. 14 years. And have, have you seen uh, an increase in the interest and, uh, you know, communication and collaboration? Well, Australia has always remained a partner of India for a long time. We have usually had people think of Australia as Sydney and Melbourne because they've been more famous icons. Uh, Queensland increasingly is finding a lot of favour with Indians, both in terms of uh, people visiting it because of tourism, a great go uh, Gold Coast, Great Barrier Reef, but they're increasingly finding it as a very cost effective, similar to climate of tropics uh, place to be, engage. I think uh, going forward, India will find a very, very sound reason to partner Queensland in its own growth from energy, food, health, education, and leisure. Five things that make life. Amazing. So looking at a holistic life, visit uh, Queensland and Absolutely. look at business opportunities to venture out into as well. Absolutely. Thank you, Gitesh. Thank you, It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.